think I, I think I might have a fucking problem. Pushing out of rolling marijuana. Thinking about getting more to the bank, but they won't let me in cause I smell like dang. I think I might have a motherfucking problem. I think I might have a motherfucking problem. Madden World, what it be like? It's your boy, Fo. Xbox 720 is the game of tag on the PS4, and y'all, this is that double, triple Madden OGs, and we are back in part number five. We are here, bro. We are at the very end of this Buffalo Bills Pistol Ace Twin scheme. We went over all of our passing plays, man, um, and we showed you how effectively we could pass the football. Now we're going to take a look at the runs. And it is definitely a last but not least because you definitely want to make sure that you have a good, healthy dose of the run. We got three very good fucking runs in this formation. So we want to utilize them as much as we can. And the plays that we want to look at is HB Power. That is the quick run audible, which is good because it's a really good running play. Um, halfback Dive. And then we also want to look at Strong Power. Now, you do have a uh, Halfback Slam in here but um honestly to tell you the truth the halfback dive we're gonna be able to you know take it anywhere um so i don't think you really need a halfback slam uh and then also uh there's a halfback counter i honestly am not in favor of runs that have a high percentage of getting blown up and what i mean by that is this run is about 60 to 75 percent successful when i run it a lot okay and that is not highly successful to me i really feel like you need to be um about 80 percent successful to 90 percent successful in terms of getting a positive gain okay if i can end up blown up in the backfield a lot of the times then i just scrap that shit. i don't care if it, it has a situation where i might be able to break it for something big I don't want to take a loss. I always want to keep the chains moving and I just eliminate those things that are of extreme high risk to me, especially in the running game because you get behind the chains in this game and I mean, you're, you're dead in the water against a good player. So we'll cover those. Before I cover that though, you know, you do have the read option. So definitely take that in the lab, check it out. Might even show you guys how to run it. I mean, if you request it, let me know. Um, HB slips uh, screen is good. We're not going to talk about that at all, though. It, it's self-explanatory. But I want to show you this wide receiver screen. We, of course, cannot... Um, against man, it's going to get shut down. But, like, against any zone... And we'll cover it just briefly. Against any zone, this is going to work. So let me go ahead and show you. As you can see right here. And I just ran straight up, ran into him. I could have tried to juke him or something. That was a cover three. We'll show you cover two. And this works the same against fucking everything, bro. He just, that, um, see how he gets picked up right there? That's cover three. That, that's why you want to make sure you have somebody that can block in that slot. Um, because of that, now we'll call cover two. As you can see, we got the cover two cloud flat on the field. And it's going to work exactly the same for us. If, um, if we get the block that we need, we're not going to get picked off, though. That's the good thing. That that blocker does an excellent job of picking up the player he needs to pick up. Unfortunately for us, he's not doing too good of a job at getting the block down like he needs to get it down. Now, a lot of the times you'll find like that, that may happen where he actually gets a block in. It depends. Bryce Butler only has a 50 block. If you decide, because when we're talking about running, if you have like good high like blocking guys if you're playing with like i don't know like fucking chicago who you never play with chicago but if you do you got somebody like alshon jeffrey and eddie Roy that have 64 run block they are gonna block the shit out of that cover two every single time and you're gonna be able to run that on a cover two now we'll go ahead and show you cover two with a hard flat real quick and show you that it's still not gonna get picked and that is crazy right so now against any zone this shit can get open at any time because there's so much block because as you can see right here everybody on the line is blocking they're going to pick up players for you 
Um, but a hard flat can't even stop that because usually in some wide receiver screens, the fucking slot receivers and shit, they dumb out like all the time, bro. In this particular instance, that wide receiver will never dumb out. He will always block the outside guy or he'll always pick up the curl flat or whatever that's going to be in that space. And that's one of the better wide receiver screens in the game. I thought that I definitely, it, but you know, to me, I consider that a run. Um, so I wanted to make sure I put that in there, uh, showed you that, and to mix it in with all of those other passing plays, bro, and they have to try to get used to trying to defend all of that, and then you start coming out with a screen, bro, it's gonna be over with, man. <laughs> it's gonna GG, trust me. Um, all right, so now what we wanna do, and I'll show you, like if I'm running the football for sure, I, I like to have confident blockers. Dez cannot block for us. We like to have him on the field a lot. But, you know, what you want to do is just sub for somebody that can still catch the ball. So you can, you don't, you know, you might tell a little bit that you're running. But at the same time, like, I could put Jason Witten in. And every route that I showed you, for the most part, in the game, Jason Witten can still run these routes effectively. Like, if I run that little post route that I was running out of uh, post wheel, bro, he's still able to run it effectively and get open and catch the football. If you're playing mutt, this is not an issue because you, you can have a wide receiver with great run block if you're playing with other teams you can have better receivers with better run block you just need receivers to the outside i think to have a 50 or higher run block unfortunately this team i think dez has like 44 run block terrence williams has 38 beasley has like 33 it's fucking ridiculous how bad the run blocking is on this team so let's go ahead and get into the run real quick and then we'll run random uh, of course, and then we'll just run it and we'll show you, you know, that this is strong power and we can run strong power As you can see right here, we're gonna break it with a lot a lot of success, bro It's a really solid ass run man. It really is and you just want to read to see what side is gonna be the dominant side if we get our if we get him to hold that block we was just talking about run block and he still fucking broke it also remember like i said we were setting up all of those passing plays motioning this guy over now we can motion that guy over get the extra block we need boom and just like that we almost house it and that's what i wanted to show you guys so that's the beauty of being able to pass with that guy being motioned out um is that you're going to be able to do that now let's go ahead and move on to the hb power because i think hb power is going to be good too you can also motion the guy with hb power um this is a really solid fucking run just the same it's gonna break you right inside as opposed to running you outside uh, wider like the, uh, let's call it HB power again. Instead of breaking you like really far outside, like almost like at, at a toss kind of angle, it cuts you back up into, whoa, he just blew him clean the fuck up, bro. We would've we would have ran for a lot of yards if he wouldn't have blown him up. And that was Jamie Collins. He don't even fucking play for the damn Patriots no more, bro. <laughs> Shit, you saw him blow up Swain, that was crazy. But anyway, that would have went for a lot, actually. We don't like this. We can already tell that's man to man. We're still running, though. We'll just go ahead and get that out the way. Like, I would have noticed that that would have been man, bro. Um, let me plug up my controller for that shit cut off. All right, cool. Um, so we'll call it again. And it looks more favorable to our other side here. And we're calling that power O this time as you can see you just want to pick your hole um and, and try to run get open which i should have motion i got over right then as you can see power o is more or less something trying to run right on the outside bro try to get open uh we'll call power o well, that's the um, strong power. Let's call power O real quick. But this is a good solid run, man. Like I said, strong power is your bread and butter. Um, it's very, very solid. But see, it, oh boy, he got his ass knocked off. But as you can see, we're able to get yardage pretty much every time with uh, HB power O for the most part. 
You see, it's a good run, solid run, solid run. You're just churning yards. And that's like, this is a great uh, play for like the Cowboys, bro, because you, you have a good offensive line. You got a good running back. You got great tight ends that can block for you. And you're just churning fucking yardage, running between all of those big uglies. All right. Now we'll go ahead and show you um, the HB dive real quick. And I want to show you something about HB Dive that I like. Um, great part about HB Dive is you want to get it and don't get on the don't get on the turbo, bro. Like immediately. This way you can control wherever the fuck you want to go with this play. Um, and it's really really solid, bro. So I'll show you. So we can pretty much take it almost anywhere on the field we want we can go right we can go left or the middle and i think that's you know that's worth it alone because as you can see i can cut it out like this if i want to i could have cut it far outside if i wanted to um or i can run it right up the middle like i said i can cut it far right outside if i want to it just depends they're getting pretty good block sheds but we're still able to turn yards See, like that, you're just picking your hole and you're running to the spot. As you can see me run way outside right here. I can cut it way outside and that's what I mean, right or left. You can go right or left with this run or you can just go right up the middle of the field. It just depends on what you want to do as the runner. My ball carrier vision is on motherfucking zero, bro. So I'm not the dude to be showing y'all runs and I'm having success with the run. So these are really good runs, the dummy proof. Know what I mean? And, and you're really gonna have success. We got a good, we got a good defensive line we're playing against here. Um, and we're still having success. Great linebackers with Dante Hightower and uh, Ninkovich, um, Jamie Collins still on this team on the video game, and we're just able to still turn yards. Malcolm Brown is a good DT. Bro, it's just really a really, really solid running play. Um, and I would suggest running it. Once you mix all these in, bro, Ezekiel Elliott got the fumbles in that. <laughs> Look, even then, um, as you can see, bro, he didn't get through like he should have. We broke that for a lot. But I just wanted to show y'all that so that wide receiver screen is good. Look, we can cut outside right there. And that's just me reading random plays, bro. Um, the wide receiver screen works against everything. The strong power, you saw me break that for a touchdown. The HB power, we can switch back to that HB power. It's a solid run. It's not going to give you like all of the games in the world, but it's definitely something good to sprinkle in because it works. It just simply works and gets you great yardage as you can see me run it right there. That's a good three to four yard carry. And then the HB dive. The two I'd go between... It, well, I go between those three basically, but when you can run the HB dive, run the HB dive, that's probably my favorite out of the three. And then strong power is just really, really good. And you can make them really afraid to try to defend you when they're running something like, uh, when you're running something like strong power and you're gonna be able to pass the football extremely effective, like over and over and over, you know what I mean? So anyway, like, comment, uh, if you feel like I left anything out on the field and this puts a nice little bow on our scheme um, And that's gonna be it, bro. I think the next couple of videos I'm gonna drop I'm gonna go ahead and take care of some of those requests I know you guys have been looking for that as well But I have to always put out, you know additional content So I wanted to make sure I put out some other stuff now I'm gonna jump back into the request so my next few videos will probably be about that uh, if you're new to the channel, sub to your boy, and as always, respect the OGs. Peace.